So this is day seven at the Olympic Games. I'm here down at the Gangyung region, uh, where, as you can see, we're on the coast. And it's a beautiful day. The weather's been lovely today so far. Um, it's quite early in the morning. And the, what you see behind me is the Seamark Hotel, the space where the non-accredited media are set up during the Games. Uh, so just to put that in context a bit, we have a number of different media that come to the Olympic Games, mostly, of course, coming here to cover the sports. But beyond that, there's lots of stories that are written, TV shows that are shot that cover everything outside of the venues. And for anything kind of political or cultural, the non-accredited media center is the place to come. So this morning we have a ceremony celebrating Korean New Year, which I'm going to pop down to in a moment and show you. But um, for now, just to give you a sense of what this entails, we have mostly uh, international people that will come along to the center uh, and cover the things that are happening outside of the sports, but also a lot of Korean-based reporters too, who are interested in documenting and reporting on the local political situation. So anything that involves the government, anything that involves the, the, the kind of domestic political stories of the time are a focus here in, in Gangyung. Um, I come down here most days just to see what they're presenting to the media, get a sense of how they're articulating their identity. But for me, it's the heart of the journalism, really. Whilst most of the stories and most of the excitement internationally is in the main press centres where you have the athletes talking about their sports and so on, when you come down to this facility, you get a sense of Korea. You really get a sense of its identity, what this Games is all about for, for the place, but also a bit more of an insight into the local politics by talking to journalists that are from the region, which is why it makes it a really interesting and exciting place to be, but also a very different place, somehow slightly outside of the Olympic bubble, but still within this place where professional journalists are trying to tell interesting stories. So let's go and have a look and see what's happening downstairs. So I've just come into the building here, just from the outside, and I've spotted here, you can see it's the NBC Logistics Office. So, as I mentioned before, there's quite a few journalists that hang out here that are part of the professional accredited media who are covering the sports. And they have many facilities just around the area uh, of Pyeongchang to ensure they have the facilities they need, the space they need, but also the range of opportunities to cover everything it's just a phenomenally huge media operation and so to have NBC spend part of their time down here just tells you uh, its purpose is really quite crucial to the reporting uh, you'll have things presented here at the media center that aren't presented anywhere else um, events that are more accessible uh, than other venues it's not as kind of security uh, driven as other places you don't have to do massive kind of bag checks to get into the space so um, being at the non-accredited media center is a way of having uh, involvement in events or staging events that don't have to kind of work to the Olympic protocol. I remember back in Athens in 2004, uh, one of the events that took place in their non-accredited media center was the Olympic truce event. So we had in this building uh, a number of dignitaries. Um, I remember Tony Blair was there. A number of other heads of states were in this quite... <laughs> less secure pr uh, premises within the center of Athens to celebrate Olympic truce. And that's the kind of event that will find itself occupy this facility. So we're just heading downstairs now. We're going to see where the entrance is. Okay, so I just walked into the media center. As you can see, we're in the main workroom for the journalists. And we, I think I've, I've just missed the presentation for the Korean New Year, which is what I came down here for in the morning, but never mind. I seem to have seen the governor on the way out and he handed me this uh, little gift. Um, and I think, I guess looking at me, he, he thought I was an athlete. So he asked how many medals I'd won. Uh, unfortunately, I had to say none, um, but he <laughs> seemed happy enough anyway. But the, uh, that's the kind of event that happens here. They're, they're having sort of rituals, ceremonies, dances, and, and other kind of cultural activities that happen. Uh, as you can see, there's space for about 300 or so uh, journalists to be working in this room at any one time. And outside, I'll just walk you through. Um, you've got here the, the press conference podium where they're staging lots of different events. And within the kind of wings of this auditorium, you have different stands that show people uh, about the region and give them a sense of, of the area and what takes place within it. So that's a bit of a glimpse into the non-accredited media center. Just to finish up, I'm gonna show you these uh, different lanyards that I have, because they kind of tell you how these things work a little bit. Um, so just quickly show you here, this is the press accreditation for this centre. This is the press accreditation for the Cultural Olympiad. And this is the press accreditation for the sports. 
uh, handed out by the Olympic Committee. So each of these gets you into different places to do different things. Everyone wants to have the one that gets them into the sports, but often um, it's these other ones that are kind of richer in terms of the politics and the culture, which is why I kind of hang out, hang out from these sort of venues. Um, and as you can see here, we have the Korean New Year Day celebration information on this board, which tells people a bit about um, how they celebrate it and what things are happening throughout the day. So I'm going to leave it there and uh, see you again soon.